Hello and welcome back. This is the last part of our tutorials on how to model the caster wheel. We are doing this in AutoCAD. I will start this demonstration by opening up all the parts that we have created. We have made the supports, we have made the base, the bushing, the wheel, the axle right in here. So we have all those parts already created and made. So now I'm going to open a new drawing right here. Start just a drawing that is totally blank. And I have one open already here. And I call this the assembly parts. So on this one right here, I don't have any parts there. So now I need to start bringing all the parts in here and trying to put it together. Unless you created all the parts in one single project, you can assemble them in the same drawing that you have. We have made these, each one of them has its own file. So I'm going to open all those files, have them ready to go. So the first one will be the base. I can go right here and select the solid right here, and then go Control C for copy, just like any Windows program. Go back to the assembly drawing parts, and then I go Control V and paste it. So I'll paste that part in there. So now I have the base here. Now I go to the next part. I'm going to bring the support. On this one we had an extra one to the, that we demonstrated how to obtain the 3D on it. So this part we really don't need it anymore. I'm going to leave it here for now. I'm going to select this one. Go Control C for copy. Go back to my drawing where the base warp with all the parts are going to go. Control V. And then I'm just going to place it somewhere here. I'll go back to my shaft. I select it, control C for copy, come back to when I put in all the parts there, so I go control V to paste it and I just put it anywhere there. And I will go collect the other parts. So I need the wheel, select it, control C for copy, go back to my drawing with all the parts are going to be. Control V to paste it, and I just bring the wheel and place it anywhere here. So I have all those. Now I need the bushing. So I'm going to go look for the bushing. It's right there. Select the bushing. Control C for copy. Go back all the other parts and then Control V. So now I have the bushing, the shaft, the wheel, and the upright, and the base. Now you, you say, well, we need two of these and we need two of those. So that's the easy part to do. Now we can select the bushing, for example, and then go into our copy selection right here. Copy. And then we're going to just place another instance of that one. We can put as many as we need, but for now we only need one. And we do the same thing with this one. Copy selection. Place it right there. So now we have two uprights. We have the shaft. We have the bushings, and we have all the parts that we need for that. And all the parts are the same. You can see them. They are exactly the same color and everything. So to make things different, we're going to go to our tool palette, and we're going to go into the materials browser. And right here, we can look for any material that we want to apply to those parts. So now we have the anodized aluminum there. And we, we can go look for another one for the bushing. Let's see if we can find brass. Oh, we use bronze. So we can select this one and go to our bushings. And then do the same thing to the other bushing. Now we can look for another material. Just to give it a contrast, you can go that way. Or you can have a chrome shiny and apply it to it. So it doesn't matter which materials you want to use. You just look for something that looks different between each part. So we can go over and look for another one. Framing steel. In AutoCAD, you can actually grab a material and they just put it on top. It doesn't matter if you had one there, it replaces it. So you can go back and forth and remove them, put them, change it, galvanize steel. We can do the shaft out of galvanize. The uprights, we can select any other material that we want. Gun metal, I like that one. So we go there. And then we have another one that we made. We go gun metal on that one too. Once you have the materials, you have a library of the parts that you have used here. And you can change them and apply them to it. So you can 
keep selecting collect another one if you want to change another one like that one you can do that way play around with it it's, it's kind of fun to give different materials on the parts so we can close this one and now we have all the parts are are different materials now if you notice the orientation of the parts is quite different so this one is pointing downward we actually need to flip it over in order for this part to fit on this area. And AutoCAD has a tool, there's a 3D rotate tool, which is right here on this modified toolbar. So if you click on that one, then you can select the object that you're going to rotate, select it, and then you can see the axis you're going to be rotating. Like this one, we're going to rotate it on, on this axis. So we're going to go 180, so it goes upside down. And then we can repeat the command on these. So this one is going to be rotated along this axis right there. We're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So if it puts it towards that along this axis right here. And we're going to go at negative 90, so it rotates the opposite end right here. Those stays the same. This one we need to rotate it. So we're going to rotate this one. We're going to use this axis again. And now it's going to rotate 180. So we're going to rotate it again. And then another 90. So they are facing each other now. So we have all the parts in the right orientation. Now we need to move them into the locations that they belong. Like this part will have to fit on this part right here. So I go zoom into this part right here. I go and say move with this tool right here on the modify. Move. I will rotate and I will make sure that I have my object snap on and available. So I go move. You're going to select this object. Now ask us for the base point. So our base point will be this, the center of that circle on the bottom. Now we have it, we acquire that point and we can zoom into this point right here and say okay I want to put it on top of this one and then the part will fit right in line with those two uh, holes that will be lined with each other now we can move the the bushing say okay I want to move this bushing so move this object the base point will be the center of that one and I'm going to go into this center right here and the bushing will sit flush with that surface. I can do the same thing with the other bushing. Put it in location or I can move the other part in. But let's put this one on next. So I'm going to move this area. Move. The location of it will be this one. I use that one. And it will be in line with it. It will be ready to go. Now I can move the wheel. So this will be move. I'll use the base point, this one, and I can put it on that one. Now that you have it located in the right position, you can just select this one, and then you have this axis of movement. You have the, the triad, the X, Y, Z triad. And then you can just grab it and, and drag it and put it in position where you want it along the axis. And it's very easy, very simple, very easy to locate your parts there. Now we can go and install our other bushing. I'm going to select this one, and then move, zoom in, acquire the center, the center of that one, and then zoom in here and say, okay, I wanted to attach it to this center right here. Now I have those two parts ready to go. So now I go and say, okay, I want to move these objects, and I want them to be in line with the center point of this one, right here, the center mark, center. And then I can go over to the top of this one, zoom in, and acquire the center of that one, put it in. And then we have our assembly pretty much put together. The bushings are there, everything is ready to go, everything is ready to do the assembly. So the assembly is pretty much done. Now you can select on the parts and then axis. So if you want to move it in and out, you can do that and then locate it where you want it. And basically that's what is done to 
an assembly on this one. If you had the screws or the bolts already modeled, we can put them in there and everything will be finished and, and done with this one. That's all it takes to do a, a model of the wheel by adding all the components, putting them together. Just remember, just grab your components, bring them into one area, and then start moving them, locating them, rotating them. This tool is very handy, the 3D Rotate. You can rotate any object along any axis, any point, and then if you use the Move tool right here, you can actually move the parts and take them away and put them away from it. If you notice, when we brought those parts right here, they brought with them the 2D geometry that we created for the counter bore holes, so we just delete them. Now you can go over and save this one as the assembly of the wheel. And that's all it is for putting a model of the caster wheel. I hope you guys enjoyed this demonstration and I hope they're useful in your, in your careers in understanding how to manipulate 3D objects and how to model them for presentation purposes. Thank you very much.